In the far reaches of our vast universe, there's a celestial object spinning at breakneck speed and boasting an energy output that could make a Duracell bunny run circles around itself until the end of time. Its name, the Neutron Star. If it is forged, harnesses the blazing power of the Neutron Star. Imagine, if you will, a star 20 times the mass of our sun, compressed into a sphere only 20 kilometers across. That's like stuffing an elephant into a ballet shoe, but on a cosmic scale. Not only are these celestial powerhouses incredibly dense, but they also spin at a mind-boggling speed, emitting radiation and boasting a magnetic field a trillion times stronger than that of Earth. So, naturally, as energy-hungry, curious beings, we might wonder, could we turn one of these bad boys into a mega-battery? A wild idea, I know. Much like putting pineapple on pizza or socks with sandals, it seems a little out there. But when it comes to energy, the strange and the extreme might be exactly what we need to look at. Firstly, we need to consider the potential energy sources a neutron star could offer. There's the dizzying rotational energy, the mighty magnetic field, the immense gravitational pull, and let's not forget the copious amounts of radiation these stars dish out. Sounds like quite the power package, doesn't it? But I can hear you saying, that's all well and good in theory, cosmonology, but how on Earth, or rather, how off Earth, are we supposed to harness these energies? Excellent question. First, we'd need materials capable of surviving near a neutron star. And these aren't exactly the friendly celestial neighbors you might hope for. Imagine a star-shaped Godzilla with an attitude problem, and you'd be halfway there. But let's just say we pull a technological rabbit out of the hat and get our hands on materials resistant enough for the task. Next up, we'd need ultra-advanced robots to handle all the construction and maintenance work, because trust me, no human would want that job. I'd fancy a little trip to the high-radiation, super-hot, hypergravity environment of a neutron star, said no astronaut, ever. And let's not forget about getting all that juicy energy back to Earth. For that, we'd need a breakthrough in energy transmission. Quantum entanglement, anyone? It's kind of like sending a text message through space, but instead of emojis, you're sending energy. Oh, and did I mention the slight problem of distance? Unless you've got a few light years worth of free time, we're going to need some serious upgrades in propulsion technology. That's right, we're talking warp drives, wormholes, and maybe even a sprinkling of theoretical physics magic. And finally, we need some mastery of astrophysics that goes beyond anything we've currently got. We're talking about doing to a neutron star what a toddler does to a box of Legos, take it apart and hopefully put it back together in a way that makes sense, only a tad more complex. Here's what our journey might look like. It starts aboard a futuristic spacecraft equipped with propulsion technology beyond anything we currently understand. The ship is speeding through the cosmos at a speed incomprehensible to our current knowledge. As we draw closer toward the neutron star, the pulsing, rotating beacon of energy that we aim to harness, we witness the extreme conditions. There's a violent dance of energy and matter taking place as the star's intense gravity pulls in surrounding matter, and its magnetic field generates incredible radiation. Powerful jets of energy shoot out from the star's magnetic poles, creating an intense light show. Our advanced spacecraft releases swarms of autonomous robots, each equipped with ultra-durable material designed to survive the harshest of conditions. They begin the complex process of constructing a Dyson-like structure around the neutron star, each part meticulously designed to harvest different energy types. We see different sections of this structure working in harmony, one section spinning with the neutron star taps into its immense rotational energy. Another section, equipped with vast conduits, gathers energy from the star's magnetic field through electromagnetic induction. Yet another section harnesses the gravitational energy, using matter falling towards the star to generate power, akin to a hydroelectric dam. After the energy is harnessed, it's stored in colossal energy storage units, glowing with pent-up power. This energy is then transmitted across vast interstellar distances using breakthrough technology, perhaps using quantum entanglement or some yet-to-be-discovered principle of physics. 
Energy transmission successful, the camera pulls back from the star, leaving the autonomous robots to their constant work of maintenance and repair. The craft that brought them there embarks on its return journey, leaving behind the distant, pulsing neutron star and its surrounding structure, a testament to the incredible energy harnessing achievement. Now, as entertaining as it is to think of turning a neutron star into our own cosmic battery, it's safe to say we've got some hurdles to overcome before that becomes reality. Back on Earth, we're still wrestling with the challenges of finite fossil fuel reserves. But as your dad probably told you, the problem isn't that the car is running out of gas. It's that you forgot to check the gauge. We've become a little too comfortable relying on resources that, frankly, aren't playing the long game. But fear not, because the Earth isn't exactly short of a power socket or two. We've got solar, wind, tidal, geothermal, and nuclear energy at our disposal. The Earth, you see, isn't a one-trick pony. Yet in the grand tradition of wanting what we can't have, we've turned our gaze skywards. The moon, asteroids, and now even neutron stars all appear in our cosmic gold diggers' fantasies. But these dreams are just that, dreams. Beautiful, fascinating dreams, but dreams nonetheless. However, remember, we humans have a habit of turning dreams into reality. We dreamt of flight, and now airplanes crisscross our skies. We dreamt of exploring space, and now we have rovers on Mars and telescopes that can see into the distant past of the universe. So, who knows? Maybe one day the idea of turning a neutron star into a mega battery will be as normal as pineapple on pizza. Uh, who am I kidding? Pineapple on pizza will never be normal. But in the cosmic scheme of things, it's not so far-fetched to consider the energy potential in the universe. Just as we went from oil lamps to nuclear power plants, who's to say what the future might bring? Until then, let's continue to appreciate the spectacle of our universe, the secrets it still holds, and the potential it represents. After all, the energy we seek isn't just out there in the heart of a neutron star. It's here, on Earth, in the heart of our quest for knowledge and the unstoppable power of human curiosity. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember, there's more up there than mere balls of gas and dust. There's potential, there's mystery, and there's an energy source waiting to make the Duracell bunny look like a tortoise after a heavy lunch. But for now, my friends, remember to switch off the lights when you leave the room. After all, we don't have a neutron star mega battery yet. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.